In March 1941, the war between Greece and Italy was still raging with the Italian Spring Offensive. At the same time, the first units of a British force of two infantry divisions and one armored brigade arrived on the Greek mainland. The first British troops had arrived in Greece in November of 1940 as a defensive aid against the Italian invaders. It was a move that Germany perceived as a violation of Greece's neutrality. The British presence in the Balkans forced Germany to make plans of an invasion in Greece using Bulgaria as an assembly area. The British and Greek commanders had conflicting views regarding the disposition of the British Expeditionary Force. The British proposed the retreat of the Greek army from both the Albanian front and from Macedonia to form shorter defensive lines that could be defended effectively. However, a feeling of Greek national pride prevailed over military logic. The Greek leadership rejected the proposal as it ceded too much territory to the invaders, including the hard-won regions in Albania. The British Expeditionary Force under General Wilson formed its own line of defense from the Haliakamon River to the borders with Yugoslavia, manned by the 6th Australian Division and the 1st Armor Brigade. The 2nd New Zealand Division was placed north of Mount Olympus. The Greek 12th and 20th Infantry Divisions were put under the command of General Wilson as well. The German attack, codenamed Operation Merida, was launched at dawn on the 6th of April 1941. The main assault took place at Fort Rupel in the center of the Metaxas Line. Despite sufficient air support, the 5th Mountain Division didn't capture the fort and sustained considerable losses. The 6th Mountain Division breached the line through a snow-covered mountainous passage that was considered as inaccessible by the Greeks and reached the railroad to Thessaloniki the next day. The 2nd Panzer Division invaded Yugoslavia from the east, along with the 40th Panzer Corps, in order to outflank the Greek defense line. It reached the day's objective, the town of Stramika, encountering little resistance. In Thrace, the two divisions of the 30th Corps attacked the Greek fortifications without significant success until nightfall. At the end of the day, the overall situation looked good for the Greeks, as none of the bunkers were captured, despite some isolated breaches in the Metaxas line. The situation changed completely the next day when the Germans launched repeated assaults on the bunkers after renewed bombing by artillery and Stuka dive bombers. The 2nd Panzer Division entered Greece unopposed and drove inland to reach Thessaloniki. The Greek 19th Mechanized Division was too weak to stop them, and now the entire Eastern Macedonia Army section was cut off. By nightfall, four of the bunkers in Macedonia were captured. The 18th Division, defending these bunkers, retreated to take defensive positions in the rear of the 14th Division. In Thrace, the 50th Division captured one of the two bunkers and then reached the coast of the region. The Greek Evros Brigade fled and surrendered to Turkey according to their orders. The rest of the bunkers were still intact, with the garrisons fiercely defending them. As the garrisons were still holding, on the 9th of April, the 2nd Panzer Division finally captured Thessaloniki. The Greek High Army Command ordered all troops of the Eastern Macedonia Army Section to surrender, as there was no way to reinforce or evacuate them. There was no time for the Germans to take prisoners. All Greek soldiers were disarmed and then left, free to return home. At the same time, the Germans defeated Yugoslavia, which allowed the 40th Panzer Corps to assist the campaign in Greece. The 1st SS Motorized Regiment and the 73rd Division entered the Florina region, unopposed on the 10th of April, with the 5th and 9th Panzer Divisions following them. The SS Regiment broke through the Cledi Pass after heavy fighting on the 12th of April. And by the morning of the 14th, the spearheads of the 9th Panzer Division captured Kozani after engagement with the 1st Armored Brigade. This was the only tank battle in the Greek campaign. The British lost 32 tanks, while the Germans lost only four. Three hours later, 2nd Panzer Division captured the city of Katerini, unopposed as the Australian Division was ordered to retreat to Mount Olympus. The Greek 12th and 20th Divisions were not completely destroyed, but the battalions that escaped were left in a bad fighting condition. Many of the Greek soldiers deserted after they heard that the Germans do not hold prisoners. The Germans effectively drove a wedge between the British forces, holding the line against the 18th Mountain Corps and the bulk of the Greek army fighting against Italy in the west. The Greek army began a slow retreat, and the SS regiment rushed to the mountain pass of Metsovo to prevent their escape while the 73rd Division attacked on their flank. The 5th Panzer Division crossed the Haliakamon and then made slow progress until the 19th of April, when it emerged from the mountains and was finally able to move at its usual speed. The 9th Panzer Division established a bridgehead across the Haliakamon River, but an attempt to advance beyond this point was stopped by intense Allied fire. 
The Australians and New Zealanders managed to hold the mountain passes until the 16th of April, when repeated German attacks with combined arms began pushing them further to the south. General Wilson ordered another withdrawal, this time at the historic site of Thermopylae. The Germans realized that the Allies are fighting rearguard actions to evacuate from Athens, and the campaign turned into a hunt to prevent as many Allied troops from evacuating as possible. On the 20th of April, the commander of the Greek forces in the Albanian front, General Solakoglu, accepted the hopelessness of the situation and surrendered all 14 divisions under his command, with the condition that the surrender would be accepted only by the Germans. The morale of Greek troops was wearing thin, and the number of deserters was slowly increasing. Nevertheless, the decision was condemned by both the Greek and British leadership. The negotiations were kept secret from the Italians after strict orders from Adolf Hitler himself. With the surrender of the Greek army, the SS Regiment and the 5th Panzer Division continued heading south to catch up with the units hunting the British Expeditionary Force. At Thermopylae, the New Zealand Division was guarding the coastal pass while the Australian Division was in the village of Bralos with two battalions. The majority of their elements were retreating to the evacuation ports. The Germans reached and attacked the Allied position on the 24th of April. The Allies held out the entire day, and with their delaying action accomplished, they retreated in the direction of the evacuation ports. The 2nd Panzer Division crossed to the island of Evia and then turned again to the mainland to outflank the Allied position. With the Germans close to Athens, the remaining Allied troops headed to the ports of Peloponnese. The Germans dropped two battalions of the 2nd Parachute Regiment there to capture the bridge and cut off their escape, but many Allied soldiers had already crossed the bridge when the paratroopers landed. On the 27th of April, the 2nd Panzer Division entered Athens and drove straight to the Acropolis to raise the German flag. The 5th Panzer Division crossed the bridge at Corinth and was later joined by the SS Regiment to attack the remnants of the Australian 16th and 17th Brigades. The fighting there consisted of small-scale engagements, and by the 29th of April, the Germans had reached the southern coast, capturing more than 8,000 Allied prisoners. The German victory was not complete yet. The 50,000 Greek and British Commonwealth troops that escaped the Greek mainland were redeployed on the island of Crete for one last stand.